People who distract you cannot distract you. Parents who demotivate you cannot demotivate you. Friends who let you down is not going to stop you. Pastors who stop praying for you and wish that the devil will come after you, the devil would never find you and catch you. Focus. The great power. So focus. So there's a saying, and I like it. It says that it's called the Pareto Principle. The principle says that anytime you are focused, you only require 20% of effort and you can achieve 80% results. If you want to go and study and you pack your book and then you are there studying, you realize that you are just there. But you forget how oh, that book I need to make a record, I forgot it. So you have to really go back. And by the time you can use to go and come back, you are burning energy. By the time you come back to the book, you are tired. Think about it. Focus. So I want to start from that premise. Make friends. That is what we call social capital. So the first part to brand yourself is what? Social capital. Now we move on from social capital and then we refer to it as your social currency because it's money. So when a young lady in red, I've seen her move over there, asks about who you know and who knows you. At the moment we move on and who knows you. You can know certain people when you only call them when you need them. And so that when you call them, they will pretend not to know you. So it's who knows you. When I see opportunity, do you come to my mind for me to refer you and recommend you? So write it down as social work, currency. That is the point. To brand yourself, you need that. Your social currency. By the way, who is this social currency? How many friends have you got? Prof mentioned a few of them. It is a must why you are institution of higher learning for you to have few professors who can even give you a reference without paying money to come to this university. They can actually write the reference, scan it when they sign it, and send it to you so they can print it up and take it to wherever you go. Just a phone call. You have people like that. It is important for you, even at this level, to have about two lawyers as friends. You meet them at the corners, you meet them somewhere else. Sometimes go to the law schools, go and take the students who are learning law as friends. Take the lawyer who teaches them as a friend. Don't ask me how you do it, because you can do it if that is exactly what you want to do. Focus. How about two medical doctors on your phone? If you're a woman, it's important one of the doctors should be a gynecologist. And it's also very necessary and important for you to do everything possible to have one, at least, spiritual person who prayed for you when you were doing sleep. So let's come back onto the, you know, the, three, the three things I drew, right? You see, if you look at it, the middle one is where you belong to. That, that is your level. That is your level of friends. That is the middle one. The smaller box is people below you. The bigger ones should be people above you. Because this is how the process goes. You see, at your level, you have to learn and be able to what? teach. Where do you learn from? Those above you. And they are the people you should have more in your network. And then you keep as sizable as people at what? Your level. So that when you learn, you'll be able to what? Share with them. And those smaller books are people who are what? They know. You need to reach your hand to help somebody else. But you cannot have all friends who are worse than you. Are we together? That is what things happen when you have a friend. It's either your friend increase you or decrease you. That is it. That's it. So ask yourself, this friend, is he increasing me or decreasing me? Think about it. There are certain friends you just need to be done. Let them go. You don't need them now. So the first picture you see there is a man who was very short. What was the name of the man who was very short? What did he do? He ran a tree. And not only did he get to see Jesus, what happened? Jesus spent a night in his house, right? Yes. Okay. Can you imagine if he didn't know how to climb a tree? So the time to learn how to climb a tree is now. So write it down. When preparation meets opportunity, success is inevitable. When preparation meets opportunity, success is inevitable. 
a word, a mark, symbol, a device, something, a combination of both that makes you stand out, that makes you different from the rest of the people. And then I'll skip all the other. How do you look? You want to be a lawyer, you start dressing like a farmer. When you are going to farm, dress like a farmer. Some of you, even your dress, your dress, even right now, this afternoon, your dress will be a little bit better. Some of you take things too cut off. Walk, and mostly, you know, what, a lady, when you walk, and I, I, I remember at that KNUS, UCC, all of them, I've been there because I've I travel extensively, I do a lot of things on program, and I've seen them on matriculation. Hallelujah. If you see the ladies that go hundred on matriculation on their straight walk, hey, so walking, somebody have to hold them literally. It's interesting. But the point is that you need to be able to purposely, when you are walking on campus, walk with precision and purpose. As a lady, the foot have to come in front of each other. That is how you walk. That's a lady. And when you do that, every walk is cut walk. Which company made it? Where is it written? By the time the four years is over, what is your legacy on this campus? Whatever you want to see happen after you have gone, start thinking about it from level 100. If there's a position on campus, stand for some. Are we together? Yes. All right. So now, the pictures. So this is what I recommend you go and do. Take a pen and paper, go and write down some of these things because at this level you might not have got them. But you want to write it down. So you're going to look at the touch and activity, things that you feel you want to do. And then you go date that you want to start. But before you start, remember activity and the touch that you need to be detailed. So let me give you an example. If you want to learn how to drive and have a driver's license, start asking the driving schools around. How much do they charge? Can you pay it in installment? Where am I going to get the money from? If I don't have money at all, can I go and work for them in their office like twice a week if I'm free? And by that, they might end up teaching me how to drive because I want to learn how to drive. So if I'm working for them for free, then why not? On campuses, I believe that there are agencies as well that runs this um, driving stuff. So take advantage of that and go and register and do that. Are we together on that point? So that will come onto the tax. And then when do you want to start? So that's number one. Number two, have a vision. The vision is exactly what I demonstrated. This is exactly what I'm doing for the next five years. If you want to be part of me, tell me how you're going to help me to get there. That is a vision. I have a strong vision. A good plan to do what you Very, very important. Are we there? Yes. Language. IT. Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Master it, let it come back in. In whatever way possible. It's also very important for you to volunteer. I like this one, do little things right. And do countless things as well. Things that nobody say thank you. You're working on campus, you see somebody who actually have finished a sea water, throw it somewhere. Take a tissue, put it in a bin. Nobody sees you. But I'm telling you, one day, are you not the lady who pick up that thing, the trash somebody from there? That, that just puts you in a different level. Simple. Say, master the English language. You know, I love it simply because, you see, when you have a lot of vocabulary and you are speaking, you are not so much afraid. When people say, have confidence, you can have all the confidence, but if you can't speak, you stand in front of people and say, I didn't sleep yesterday. <laughs> they see their face today. <laughs> <laughs> and then you yourself, you realize that today, the feedback. What, 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 are they, why, what are they looking at me like that? <laughs> then you, you, so you get more confused. But the point is, let the vocabulary come. So if you look at all these books, simple day-to-day -day vocabulary, you can adjust that. And we say that, Master one musical instrument. Professor Bowley said it, right? So learn it, learn it at this level. What musical instrument are you going to master? I don't know which one, but learn them now. Have fun with it. Let life be a little bit vocational. Learn something with your hands. So, hair, beast making, mushroom making, mechanic. Bakery. All these are very useful things you could learn in addition to being here. Don't let your three months go away. Stand for position, and I've said that, right? When any position comes up, stand for it. Learn how to swim, even if you're afraid of water. 
Master one sport. I don't know which one. Don't waste away these legs. Finished. Press inside.